What's going on guys? Omnitos here coming at you with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video guys and in today's video we have the awesomeness that is the Realm of Gods team build video. Um, so in this video guys I'm going to be talking about the uh, updated team uh, Realm of Gods team um, and some some possible builds and work I also talk about the leader just like I did with my Jiren video the day before. So make sure you guys go check that out as well. The link will be up top and in the link in the description below. So make sure you check out that video. Uh, I work hard on these videos. I have a good time with them. I stay up. I do research. It's a lot of fun, guys. So <laughs> thank you guys for coming in and watching. If you guys want to mind, let's hit that like button. Same for 30 likes on the Realm of Gods video and have some fun today, guys. So without further ado, as we all know, UI Goku is getting his Dokkan Awakening Storm, which means the Realm of God category team is getting its update and bigger power boost. So to start it off, of course, uh, as you guys can see on my screen there, uh, UI Goku is my leader. Um, he's the one that Dokkan Awakens, and uh, yeah, so let's get into the fun. Uh, he, when he does Dokkan Awakening, he becomes Super Dimensional, Super Dimensional Instinct Goku Ultra Instinct Sign. Um, he's, his leader skill is Realm of Gods, Category Key, plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 150%. Uh, and of course, or in Type Key, plus 3, HP, Attack, Defense, plus 50%. Um, his Super Attack is Imperfect Instinct. Uh, raises Attack and causes immense damage, which is really awesome. And his passive skill is Instinct Sensation. Attack and Defense, plus 100% at start turn. And once your HP is 50% or below, he can Awaken. And when he does Awaken, let me just... He then awakens. Um, his key, his leader skill stays the same. His super attack, super attack becomes super instinct kamehameha. Uh, raises attack and causes immense damage. His passive skill becomes in instinct sensation. Key plus three and attack and defense. I mean attack plus 150 percent at the start of the turn. And he has a great chance to invade enemies' attack and disable enemies' guard, which means he hits hard on anything, on any old type out there. So. That being said, let's get right on into the team building section here, guys. So, as of course, he is the Ultra Instinct Goku is the Realm of Gods uh, category. He boosts his attack and defense, as I told you. As you be able to awaken, give him so FP. He's just ridiculous, dude. He's amazing. And that awakening stays permanent for the rest of the battle. So, remember that, too. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is now go through. And again, guys, as I mentioned in my Jiren video and in all my other videos, these building guides are not are not um, roadmaps. You do not have to use these. You do not have to use this team that I use. If you have different units than me, you can use different units, so on and so forth, guys. So just be ready for that. Um, now, there is one character that I am missing on this team and it really bugs me. So I will be putting a different unit in its place. But, um, but yeah, I thought I had this on. Uh, there we go. But yeah, so, um, there is one unit, and I'll mention it. Uh, I'll probably just put something else in its place because he's really good for if you have him. I won't, so I'll have a different unit there for uh, actually a really good reason. But without further ado, let me get right on into it. The first unit would be Tech Vegito Blue. I don't have him, but uh, I'll let you know about him really quickly. Uh, Vegito Blue is an extraordinary, of course, an extraordinary addition for this team. His passive allows him to do additional super attacks, just like every other Vegito Blue. And some of those attacks can be super attacks. His uh, passive gives him increased attack plus 50% every time he attacks an enemy until he reaches a maximum of 150%. He also has a surprisingly strong key multiplier of 160%, and his super attack stats stacks attack and defense. All of his combined with his great links as Over and Flash, Super Saiyan, and Fuse Fighter makes Vegeta one of the hardest hitters in the game. So, with that being said, he is a very powerful unit. I don't have him because I couldn't summon on that banner because of all the issues that were going on. Um, but, uh, I will mention the the other replacement for him, of course, is the physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Is He's the main lead for super types, as we all know. He reduces damage received by 30% counters. Um, combined defense and offense, he can also launch two additional attacks, meaning he can do, potentially do three super attacks if you don't know, and he links well. Um, the reason why I'm going to use my physical Super Vegito, to, super, my physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, is, where is he? This reason right there, he's Rainbow Starred. He's a Rainbow Starred unit for me, so I'm going to use that Vegito Blue right now, um, until I can at least pull, until somewhere down the line I can get Vege Tech Vegito Blue, which probably won't happen. Because they haven't come back yet. <laughs> um, 
just like in my Jiren video. Shout out to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. When we finally get him, he will fit on this team very well, guys. So be ready for that. Um, next on the list, though, is, of course, the brand new Rose Tyrant himself. Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, the STR one. Um, he is an incredible addition to Realm of Gods. His super raises all extremes have allies attack by 30% for one turn, and his passive allows him to receive 120% attack for himself and plus 50% defense and plus 3 key for extreme type allies on top of that. He lowers super type enemies' attacks and defense by 20% with a powerful 160% key multiplier. He's going to hit hard, guys. He's going to really, really hard. Goku Black professes a very versatile link set, having such links as Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, Prepare for Battle, and Fear and Faith. So he is a very strong, powerful unit. Um, definitely will highly recommend him. Um, now the next one, I'm going to do a quick shout out here for Absolute Strength Jiren. He, this is the Dokkan Awakening side. Um, we're getting the normal T, the normal UR form soon. Um, on the 15th, when UI Goku drops, so he does fit on the team. If you want to, you can put him on there. Um, again, he has the medium chance to stun all allies, as I mentioned in his other video. If you want to know more about him. Make sure you check that link down in the description for the part one of this. Um, he's good. Definitely recommend him. I also recommend uh, if you have the LR. I, I try to stay away from LRs in these because not everybody has LRs. But of course, LR Goku Black is a huge power boost for this team. So if you do have LR Goku Black, go ahead and throw him on this team. Again, I try to stay away from LRs for these team buildings because not everybody has LRs on their team. Um, the only LR I will mention, I will probably put on this team that you'll see is the next one on the list that I will be throwing on the team. And that is all or nothing Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, which I can't actually put on this team because I put Tech Vegito, I put my other Vegito. So that's the issue. I just realized that when I was, why didn't I think about this when I was researching this? So Tech Vegito Blue, Physical Vegito Blue, and LR Vegito Blue all can't be on the same team. So I have to choose. And I'm gonna put my LR Vegito Blue because it's stronger <laughs> so that being said that's yeah that's what I'll have to do um, of course you can put the Agility Rose if you don't have Strength Rose Agility Rose is very good but I have Strength Rose he is stronger so um, there's that uh, but Agility Rose does have really good link set of course Super Saiyan Fair for Battle Fierce Battle Nightmare Bad, Bad Bosses and Fear and Face Fear and Face Fear and Faith uh, Merge the Masu is really good. I still need to do that grind. I have yet to Dokkan Awaken this guy. I gotta get around to it on Physical Day later this week. Actually, Physical Day should be starting soon. I wonder if they're gonna have a Physical Dokkan event going on like that. No, he's not Physical. He's uh, attacking. Never mind. Um, his... That's why I started saying Physical. His, uh... The farm is Physical. Um, but next on my list is going to be, of course, my favorite character and the one I really wish I could get one more dupe for. And that's my Int Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Vegeta is, of course, the Int Demigod. His passive skill gives him 100% attack, and his super attack raises his attack for three turns, making him a beast of a hitter. And with his dupe pass, oh, beautiful. Um, he also lowers extreme type enemies' attack and defense plus 20%, making him a must have for <clears throat> when, of course, fighting villains. He links very well with Super Saiyan Bear for Battle, Fierce Battle, and can be paired with next level strike Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Yes. For plus two key and 35. Yeah, it's it, it's awesome. Just simply Simply awesome. Beautiful. So of course, as I've mentioned, you can put the Kaioken Goku on this list. Uh he is a very good unit. Uh, not one that I would recommend over this unit here. I I've come to like this unit a lot more over Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Even though my Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku is Rainbow Starred, I like this guy a lot more. Um, he's just a very good unit, and that's the Paramount Saiyan Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku. Um, he is a very powerful and versatile unit, as I have mentioned. His passive skill gives him 100% attack when launching a Super Attack, so he gets 100% attack, which makes him a good damage source on the Realm of Gods team. He only causes supreme damage, but he can still hit pretty hard thanks to his percent based passive. His main links are Super Saiyan Prepare for Battle and Fierce Battle. He also links well with Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta for the plus 2 key and plus 35% attack. And he's a very reliable unit that has aged very well, guys. Um, and of course, if you have him at 100%, he is beast. I don't have him at 100%. I think I'm at like 75%. I got the, top, I got the two paths done, and he is just magnificent. Now. 
For the final two, I have two units on this team that you can go with. One. You can go with the Agility Godku. If you guys want to know more about Agility Godku, go take a look at my Jiren video again. Um, Agility Godku, of course, I'll just go through because I have the same thing copy and pasted from my last script to this one. Um, Agio Gaku, of course, like I said, is a really good unit in the current meta. His Dokken Awakening has given him the upgrades he needed to be an outstanding unit. His passive skill boosts his attack and defense by 80% while boosting his super attack. Uh, paired with good attack means he hits hard and gets plus 30% attack added to it every time he launches a super attack. He's got great units. He's actually a really good unit team card for this. But the other one, and some might find this weird, but I like it and I really want to use him. In fact, I really want to give him an SA-10 if I can. Is, of course, the Strength Super Saiyan God Goku, which will also be getting his Dokken Awakening on the 15th with the UI Goku event. Um, the final card, basically, Super Saiyan God Goku Godku is a very strong unit. His passive skill gives him plus 80% attack and defense when launching a super attack. And he has a key multiplier of 140%, making him a very, very hard hitter. He also gets an additional defense with each super and gets plus 30% attack added to his super attack modifier when launching a super, just like Agility Goku. Um, however, his link set... Is it, however, his link set, including the first awakening, which allows him his, this is what makes him a little bit better than AGL Gaku for this team, is his link set. The first awakening, which allows him to supply Ultra Instinct Goku with a 55% attack at key plus three. That's what does it right there. That's what brings him over AGL Gaku for this team. AGL Gaku is great for the Universal Survival. Strength Gaku is straight, is great for Rum of Gods, guys. So that's that's what I'm gonna be running right there. That looks to be the team for me. Um, I'm gonna try to get some orbs into him probably throughout the week. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw me again, like I said early in the video, let's try to get the 30 likes. Make sure you guys smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, and you want to see more. Make sure you guys hit that uh, subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that bell. The bell lets you know when I'm going live and when the new videos like this drop. Because without that bell, YouTube is broken. Just remember that. But until next time, guys. This is on the toast. May the power protect you guys. And laters.